I take a meditation called Compassion Meditation of Atisha. Meditation to develop compassion. For this meditation, make yourself in a comfortable position. Sitting is the best option because when you lie down it is very easy for you to fall asleep. You have to be alert and awake while this meditation is going on. In one of the sutras Atisha says to move from thinking to feeling. This is the first step from thinking to feeling and then as a second step from feeling to being. Thinking is the quality of the mind. Feeling is the fragrance of heart. You have to move more and more into feeling. And when feeling reaches its flowering, when feeling becomes flowering, then compassion is born. And when thinking and feeling enter the synergistic harmony, something else emerges and that is your being. And compassion is the fragrance of the being. Thinking is the quality of the mind. Feeling is the fragrance of the heart. They can attain to flowering individually. And when thinking and feeling enter the synergistic harmony, Something else emerges and that is your being. Compassion is the fragrance of your being. This technique explains and takes you into the state when the synergistic harmony happens and as a fragrance of this harmony, compassion is born. Nakshbandi Sufi Sheikhs gave a marakwa for invoking the heart center. This is the Sufi terminology and it is called the awakening of the heart energies. Human heart is a mixture of both positive and negative emotions. In most of the cases the negative outweighs the positive and then it all results in negative outpourings. This is what regularly we see around. In most of the cases the negative outweighs the positive and then it results in negative outpourings. Sufis use this technique to transform negative emotional energies to neutralize and when all negative emotions and their subsequent energies are transformed the heart center is said to have kind and when all negative emotions and their subsequent energies are transformed the heart center is said to have kind. The Sufi word for this is Sufi terminology calls this Kalb Zakir Huna. Kalb means heart. Zakir means get kind. Much later when I explore the life and works of Atisha, 
I came about a similar meditation, the meditation to conserve the energies of the heart. And I was immediately fascinated by it. The method is, now this is the methodology, listen to this carefully so that you can understand the nuances of it and you can go into it in your own. The method is, when you breathe in, listen to it is one of the greatest methods. When you breathe in, think that you are breathing in all the energies of all the people in the world, all the darkness, all the negativities, all the hell that exists anywhere, you are breathing in all in. As if a dark river is entering from your toes to reach to your heart. When you breathe in, think that you are breathing in all the miseries of all the people in the world all the darkness, all the negativities, all the hell that exists anywhere, you are breathing it, breathing it in. As if a dark river is entering from your toes to reach to your heart. And when the river reaches, when all these negativities reach your heart center, allow these to be absorbed in your heart. Allow these to be absorbed in your heart. This is quite contrary to the so-called positive thinkers of the West. The positive thinkers, as enunciated in the West, require when you breathe out, you throw out all the misery, negativities, and when you breathe in, breathe in joy, positivity, happiness, and cheerfulness. This is what positive thinking is. You breathe out negativities and breathe in positivities. Atisha's method is just the opposite. When you breathe in, breathe in all the miseries, the suffering of the beings of the world, past, present and future. Breathe in as deeply as possible and allow the breath to reach your navel center. And when you breathe out, breathe out all the joy that you have, you have ever experienced all the blissfulness that you have, the entire benediction that you have, breathe out, pour yourself into existence. This is the method of compassion. Drink all the sufferings and pour out all the blessings. Absorb all the sufferings. And in that very absorption, the sufferings are transformed. They not only become benediction for you, instead when they are infused in the outer world, it brings benediction to all. Drink all the suffering and pour out all the blessings. 
in both techniques breathing is used as a tool first you have to allow your breathing to go deep to your solar plexus sit in a comfortable position allow your breathing to go deep into your solar plexus only then you can see tremendous results and you will be surprised if you do it the moment you take all the sufferings of the world inside you the moment you take all the sufferings of the world inside you they are no more sufferings in you the heart immediately transforms the energy the heart immediately transforms the energy the heart is transforming force drink in misery and it is transformed into blissfulness then pour it out this is what compassion is the heart is a transforming force drink in all the misery and it is transformed into blissfulness then pour it out this is what meera did when she was sent the cup full of poison she virtually drank all the negativities and infuse compassion in the atmosphere once you have learned that your heart can do this magic this miracle you would like to do it again and again once you know your heart once you know heart can transform you can do this miracle every day once you have learned that your heart can do this miracle this magic you would like to do it again and again try it is one of the most practical methods practical techniques of meditation simple and it brings tremendous results do it today and see what happens you remember many years ago through whom many years ago during many years ago during my radio program in trinidad i gave this meditation spontaneously and then it was called the light of the bee this was a slightly different technique this video is available on youtube and you will get the link to the video on the screen you can do this meditation sitting down or lying whichever is convenient to you however sitting is most convenient and in the beginning that is the way it should be practiced however this is one of the approaches of buddha and all his disciples atisha is one of his disciples in the same tradition in the same line buddha again and again says to his disciple come and see they are very scientific people buddhism is most scientific religion on the earth hence buddhism is 
gaining more and more ground in the world every day. As the world becomes more intelligent, Buddha will become more and more important. It is bound to be so. As more and more people come to know about the science, Buddha will become a great appeal because he will convince the scientific mind because he says whatever I am saying can be practiced. And what I told you about this meditation is scientifically true that it can be practiced. And I do not say to you to believe in it. I say experiment with it, experience it, and only then if you feel it yourself, then trust it, otherwise there is no need. This is beautiful method of compassion. Take all the miseries in and pour out all the joys.